What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. <clears throat> you know, heaven is going to be amazing. We can't take our eyes off of heaven. You know, even though we don't see it now, God gives us through scripture that heaven is real. Um, we're going to go to heaven if we put our faith in Jesus Christ and if we believe and continue to believe um, and if we definitely turn away from sin, you know, you're in a good path to get to heaven. And that's where God says that we will go if we die. But if we're raptured, we'll also go to heaven. There's some good points that we should uh, point out about heaven. Uh, one thing is that we are going to be united with our loved ones in heaven um, that have died in Christ. Of course, not every loved one goes to heaven only if they have put their faith in Christ. But um, there's a great passage that says that God will wipe away every tear from our eye once we're in heaven. Um, some people say it's specifically talking about the new heavens and the new earth is when that happens. Um, and we have that to look forward to. Um, you know, we have just so many good things that we can look forward to in heaven. Um, you know, the new Jerusalem is in heaven right now. Um, that's where Jesus has been preparing a place for us. Um, and we will have a, our own place in heaven. We don't have to necessarily build, um, our own house or something when we go to heaven. Um, God himself has been preparing a place for us. And so, uh, that's what we have to look forward to, uh, going to heaven. Um, we look forward to also, uh, God making all things right. You know, there are so many things that happen in the world that are wrong. Of course, we ourselves have participated in wrong things, but through repentance, through renewing our mind, through change, change that comes from faith in Christ, we have turned away from those things that have been unprofitable or sin uh, in our life. And so one of the uh, great things is that God will make all things right in heaven. You know, there's the classic saying that there is no sin in heaven. And that's true. You know, um, God, we won't be sinners in heaven anymore. Um, and that's something to look forward to um, that, you know, the sin nature that we have now where we are tempted to sin won't be in heaven. Um, you know, there are the people of the Bible in heaven. Um, you know, we'll see Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Uh, we'll see Adam and Eve. And, you know, they have stories to tell that are, uh, you know, not written in scripture. You know, you know, we have uh, many stories that, you know, of saints that we haven't even uh, met yet that are going to be in heaven. You know, I think there are going to be millions, billions of people in heaven because God said that uh, Abraham's descendants would be like the stars of the sky. Uh, of course, that could just mean all people that have ever lived. But when John was uh, writing the book of Revelation, when he saw the multitude in heaven of the saints, he said they were innumerable. And that's kind of like, you know, how do we really even number a billion people? You know, it's like that number is is just so big. We can't really comprehend what a billion actually looks like or two billion or three billion. So the there are 
innumerable people that are going to make it. But of course, there are innumerable, uh, much more people that end up going to hell because they rejected Christ, rejected goodness, rejected life through whatever reason. And God doesn't want that for us. He wants us to choose life. Um, and so another thing that's going to be in heaven is no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering. Um, that's going to be in heaven where, you know, God will change things that are present now to not no longer exist. Um, we talked about no sin in heaven, but also there's no more pain. So that means, you know, you won't have to go in for surgery or you won't have to uh, get your teeth cleaned and feel the pain of getting your teeth cleaned. Uh, you know, at the rapture, we all get an incorruptible body. You know, that's what we have to look forward to is a, a way better body than what we have now. You know, of course, we can sometimes get a taste of, you know, uh, maybe having uh, not being sick or something. We have uh, good health for a little bit or maybe we have strength to walk, you know, strength to talk, see of course, there are people who don't have those things here, but um, we also have to look forward to is a better body in heaven, you know, um, and then the big thing is we'll be in God's presence. Um, the thing about earth now is that we don't see God here, you know, God is in heaven and his presence uh, the Bible describes is everywhere, but his direct presence, like his actual form is in heaven. And so um, even though the Holy Spirit comes to live within us, if you put your faith in Christ and the Holy Spirit is a form of God and um, is a uh, basically... Uh, we're baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so uh, in heaven, we will be directly in the presence of God. And then we'll also be indirectly in the company of angels who are also servants of God. We are servants of God and angels are servants of God. And so um, we will, you know be in the company of angelic beings, you know, um, there are creatures in heaven that we haven't even seen before that the Bible sometimes describes. I know there's a, um, there's a creature that flies with two wings with two wings. He covers his eyes or his face and with two wings, he covers his feet and we haven't seen anything like that. So we're going to see some brand new things, which comes to the, another point that's going to be in heaven, which is the new heavens and the new earth. Really, we're going to live on a new earth that uh, heaven is going to touch. And uh, I believe that there's a new universe, you know, there's new planets new stars, uh, because uh, in the book of Revelation, I know it says that stars fall from heaven to the earth. Um, and and so that's an indication that God's going to have to replace the stars. Um, and so there will be a new earth, you know, that we have a little bit of a taste of what it's going to look like. But um God said he's making all things new. And so um, we have a new earth that's going to be completely different, I think. You know, maybe not totally different, but, you know, you may not be able to go see the Grand Canyons because there'll be an even greater Grand Canyon or something like that. 
you know, Niagara Falls may be an even greater Niagara Falls. And maybe there won't be in the same location. Maybe they will be in the same location. Um, you know, uh, in heaven, there's two types of heaven when people talk about heaven. There's the intermediate heaven or the temporary heaven where people go when they die if they have faith in Jesus. And then the new heavens and new earth is where the new Jerusalem comes down where God dwells and it touches the earth. Um, I know the Bible describes God living on a holy mountain or uh, he lives on a mountain. So maybe the new Jerusalem looks like a mountain, but we do know that it looks more like a cube. But I did kind of think that maybe it has some natural features to it, but, you know, it's supposed to be made out of gold. The walls are made out of rubies, um, you know, and we get that from Revelation chapter 21, chapter 22. And I think that um, God gives those verses to us to really just pay a somewhat of a picture to us that, you know, hey, this is kind of what it looks like, but also, you know, it's going to be more than what we think it is. Um, and so we have we have uh, to look forward to our mind being surprised or blown about how great and magnificent heaven looks like. Um, there is a book that I recommend that you probably have heard of already, but maybe you haven't. It's Heaven by Randy Alcorn. Randy Alcorn has a book called Heaven. Of course, he has a lot of books out, but I do recommend the book on Heaven. Um, he sticks close to scripture, and he also um, talks about um, what Heaven could be like. He, he makes a, a lot of good points in there that Heaven is going to be similar to what we have experienced here on earth in some ways about, you know, maybe a sunny sky, um, a beautiful lake, a beautiful view, uh, rolling hills, things like that. We have somewhat of a description about what heaven is going to look like, because, again, heaven, when talked about the final heaven um, it's going to become the new earth. And so God comes to dwell with people. And so we're going to have a new earth to live on, but we're also going to have uh, the new Jerusalem to live on. I do agree with um, uh, some another YouTuber that says that we will have, uh, we will be able to build on the new earth. You know, and uh, we'll be able to, you know, have a house somewhere on the new earth too, outside of the new Jerusalem. You know, I do think that's probably accurate. You know, um, I have seen teaching how, you know, sometimes they think the human race continues on forever. Um, that, you know, as far as people who are have faith in Jesus um, some will have a regular body. Um, I don't know if that's completely accurate. Um, I have to continue to do research on that, you know, but um, heaven is going to be amazing. We're going to want to be there for sure. You know, it makes it uh, slightly easier to say, you know, I want to turn away from sin. You know, I want to turn away from the bad way of living to turn and do the right thing. Um, and so um, there is uh, a good video on heaven by Bob Yandian. Uh, if you type in on YouTube, heaven by Bob Yandian, there's a few videos that would pop up uh, and he talks about heaven. Um, and of course, reading Revelation chapters, uh, starting from chapter 19 on, uh, you know, talks about the transition 
into heaven. Um, Isaiah 65, Isaiah 64 um, kind of talks about the millennium, but also heaven. Um, you know, animals will be different in heaven. Um, you know, animals won't, you know, destroy each other. Um, and so that's what we have to look forward to. Um, well, we, where we will have a much up close, much more closer view of animals. You know, I expect zoos, you know, to be different. I think, you know, there are going to be zoos on heaven or maybe, uh, you know, not in the same way, but we'll be able to see animals is what I'm saying. Uh, instead of, you know, having, uh, kind of a far away picture of animals. There won't be any more sea, you know, so um, the Bible describes there will be no more sea on heaven. So no more oceans. There'll be much more land. And of course, you know, maybe it's not going to be all flat, you know, grass plain. I think that God's, you know, going to do something amazing, you know, um, and we have that to look forward to. Um. I may not cover everything about heaven, you know, in this video, but, um, you know, God describes in scripture how we should keep our mind on heaven. You know, we should keep our eyes set on heaven that that's where we're going. You know, earth as it is right now is not our final home. And so, you know, problems that we go through, um, situations that are not, you know, nice, our troubles, our suffering, that's not the final story. You know, there's more to life than what we have experienced now. And we're going to live forever if you put your faith in Christ. That's what we believe. And um, we don't really know what it's like to live forever right now, you know. Um, right now we kind of can experience a long day or we know a few years, you know, I don't know if we'll sleep on heaven, the new heavens and the new earth, but maybe we will. But, um, you know, maybe a lot of things will be different and, uh, I think we'll be pleasantly surprised. I don't think we'll be, you know, sad about really anything, you know, God says former things won't even come to mind. Uh, I think he says that somewhere in the book of Isaiah in the last chapters. Um, so anyway, today is the day to put your faith in Christ. Um, if you would like to become a Christian, you know, uh, the plan of salvation is pretty simple. The Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And so, um, we call on the name of the Lord by, um, that's why a lot of pastors say recite a prayer. You know, it will, um, the prayer doesn't necessarily save you. It's the calling on God that saves you and your belief in Jesus. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. It says that in the book of Acts. And so, um, Today is the day of salvation. And so if you would like to put your faith in Christ, you can repeat this prayer after me that I'm about to say right now. Say, Lord Jesus, please save me. Please come into your heart, come into my heart. And I would like to make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I turn away from my sins and I turn to you, God. Please direct me to know what to do next. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And that is just a prayer that will help you to call on God and you can continue to call on the Lord. His name is Jesus and um, he's able to save you because he died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and he rose again on the third day to give us life. I would say research this topic further. You know, you can go to gotquestions.org 
for more uh, understanding about different Bible questions. Um, and I highly recommend going to that website. They also have a YouTube channel that you can check out, um, you know, different videos and questions about the Bible and about God, um, about Jesus. And so um, thanks for checking out this this uh, kind of short video on heaven. Um, and uh, hopefully I will see you in heaven. See ya.